Apple has officially announced its iPhone 15 event. It's happening Tuesday, September 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern. You'll be able to watch it live directly on Apple's website or YouTube. So what can you expect to see? It looks like the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro will be launched with a new USB-C connector and some other changes. We'll get into that in a second. An AirPods Pro case with USB-C, Apple Watch Series 9, possibly an Apple Watch Ultra 2, and maybe some other surprises. Let's get into the details iPhone 15 has had lots of rumors and leaks over the summer. Sonny Dixon on Twitter may even have leaked the colors, which looks like very pastel set of colors this year, not a lot of bold or bright colors. But other than that, the main thing about the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro is gonna be the transition from the lightning connector to USB-C. The last time the connector or charging port on the iPhone changed was 10 years ago with the iPhone 5 when it went from the 30 pin to the lightning connector. Now, if you want to just learn more about cables and all that, I actually did a whole video on USB-C. You can check it out above or the link in the description. But just so you can see here, this is the lightning connector. This has been on the iPhone since the iPhone 5 for the last 10 years. And this is now USB-C. This is what the new iPhone 15 will be using. Now, USB-C is not new to Apple devices. It's actually on all of the iPads. You see it on the MacBook Pro, on the Mac Studio, and the desktop Macs. But it's notable because the iPhone is Apple's most popular and widespread device. So when this change happens, I think those in the tech community, like me, I'm welcoming USB-C because I already have a bunch of USB-C cables. But for the mass audience who maybe have only had an iPhone and an Apple Watch and just charged with the lightning cable that's been in the box, there is going to be a pain period where they're going to be transitioning to USB-C. One of the other rumors will be that the iPhone 15 Pro series will have Thunderbolt connector, which allows for faster data speeds. Now, if you look at these two connectors, they're actually exactly the same and both will fit in a USB-C connector, but one is Thunderbolt and one is USB-C. Now, Thunderbolt speeds will really be useful for those who shoot video on their iPhone 15 Pro and want to transfer that video footage quickly to their Mac. Now, those base model iPhone 15s may get the Dynamic Island this year, but that is unsure. And other than that, maybe a chip upgrade. Right now, the iPhone 14 actually uses the A15 chip, which is a year-old chip. It was actually in the iPhone 13. So it might get an upgrade to the 16, or maybe it'll be on parity with the 15 Pro with the A17. We'll have to see during the event. But the bigger changes are going to come to the iPhone 15 Pro. All the rumors point to, again, USB-C and Thunderbolt on the Pro models, but also that it will be made out of titanium rather than the stainless steel around the edge. While the surgical grade stainless steel can look cool, it is definitely a fingerprint magnet, and it also makes the phone much heavier. Titanium around the edge will be less fingerprinty, and the entire device will be lighter, so that's welcome. Color-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro looks like it's going to come in pretty much gray, medium gray, and dark gray, and maybe a gray blue. So not a lot of colorful options for the Pro models, but I think that new titanium look is actually going to be pretty nice. Aside from the chip upgrade, USB-C and Thunderbolt in the connector, and the titanium build, the other major rumor is that a Periscope camera is coming to the iPhone 15 Pro models. Periscope meaning there's going to be some lenses inside the phone that are angled in a certain way, that will allow for a greater optical zoom. If you ever use the 3x zoom on your iPhone 14 Pro now, you know that those pictures just aren't as good as the wide camera. Well, this Periscope style camera should actually make those zoom photos even better. Now, rumors are that it might just be in the Pro Max or the larger version. We've seen this in previous years where the iPhone 12 actually had a different camera system in the Pro versus the Pro Max. Personally, I'm a Pro size guy. I don't really like the larger size phones, but if it has a better camera and there is better battery life in the larger size, I might be jumping up to it. Now, Mark Gurman from Bloomberg, who's a very reliable leaker, he actually had the Apple event date weeks ago, has said that the AirPods Pro and maybe AirPods regular are going to have a new case with USB-C. It doesn't seem like this is an AirPods refresh or a new model, but namely the case will now have USB-C to match the iPhone. But that does bring into question all the other accessories that are lightning right now, that go with the iPhone that will need to be refreshed so they actually can use USB-C. So that includes all the AirPods which are currently on Lightning right now, Apple's MagSafe battery pack, which also has a Lightning connector, would need to be updated, and Apple's MagSafe Duo charger is also Lightning. This came out with the iPhone 12 and is definitely due for an upgrade, especially because the Apple Watch charger on the MagSafe Duo doesn't really support the Apple Watch Ultra very well. You kind of have to lean the little watch charger back to make sure it fits, so it would be nice to see an upgraded model of this. Not to mention Apple's over-the-ear AirPods Max, $550, also have the lightning connector and will either need to be upgraded to USB-C or hopefully we'll actually see a newer model. It still has the H1 chip, which is not getting all the features that the AirPods Pro 2 are getting this year. It also looks like Apple is going to refresh the Apple Watch series. You'll get Series 9 and possibly an Ultra 2, but it doesn't look like any major features will be coming to the Apple Watch this year. Mark Gurman, again from Bloomberg, has said that next year on the 10th anniversary of the Apple Watch, Apple's planning a major revamp or overhaul of the Apple Watch series design and features. It might even get a new watch band connector, which you might see a lot of used watch bands for sale next year. This being Apple's first big event after WWDC last June, we'll probably hear some about Apple Vision Pro, possibly some of the developers who have got into labs and been able to test their apps with Apple Vision Pro. And there might be some other things announced. But one more time, Mark Gurman from Bloomberg has says that there will be a second Apple event this fall in October 
That will most likely include an iPad refresh, the base model, possibly an updated iPad mini, and we might see some refreshes in the Mac lineup, especially the iMac, which is still running the M1 chip and hasn't been refreshed in several years. So that's the Apple event coming up on Tuesday, September 12th. The live stream will be at 1 p.m. Eastern. I'll be live posting on X, live tweeting as you might know it, but you can also subscribe right here to the channel because any updates I'll cover here. And of course, I mean, I'll be getting the new iPhone 15 Pro. And if you want to see a review of that, subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment below. What are you most excited about or are you not excited about USB-C? Were you hoping to use a lightning connector for years to come? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. And before you go, you really might like this video. It's pretty good.